Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about where the market went this past week, where we think the market's going this coming week, and if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures, so if you trade that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, lots of pain, but over time, I became more consistent, and I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. Uh, just before we dive into the charts, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let's me know you like these kind of videos, so just hit that thumbs up button. If you see NASDAQ right now, we have the daily chart. I have some zones drawn out from before. These are previous uh, support and resistances, essentially. Uh, last video, uh, we were right here. I said that we were coming up into some resistance to the left. I didn't really think that we would get right over that 14,800, 14,900 area immediately, uh, but I'm still in longs. Uh, we did, and I mean, the last two days, Thursday and Friday, still had a big push up, and we even got above uh, 15,000 and closed above 15,000. So now the question is, are we going to keep going into uh, 15,300 or pull back first, maybe use 15,000 as support, gather some steam because we just made a huge move, maybe consolidate and then push back up and get above 15,500. I'm in the camp that uh, we will pull back and consolidate. I think this is just a really fast move. So, you know, to, to, to think that we're going to go straight up into 15,400 and 15,600 first is the lesser likely scenario of course we still could but i think that we'll have some consolidation this week uh hold around 15,000 or so and then uh push back up and get above 15,400 in about two weeks obviously right now on the daily show we're bullish and the last video i said we'll be bullish as soon as we get a close over 15,900 we did that on thursday so that was a we're now in a bullish market structure on nasdaq on the daily uh, also es we'll go over es shortly but as you can see, we just came straight to the 200-day moving average and popped back up. Now we're even above the 50-day moving average. So that's very bullish. Let's go to the weekly chart just to see if we're bullish. On the weekly chart, we're actually not yet bullish. Why? Because we have a high, we have a lower low, we have a lower high, we have a lower low, we have a lower high, we have a lower low, and so far, we still have a lower high based on the weekly chart. So we need to get above 15,500, let's call it. Uh, to really confirm that we're bullish again on the NASDAQ on the weekly chart, right? So weekly chart is actually still bearish, uh, but every other time frame is bullish. Okay, so we're getting there. Uh, I'm still in my longs, uh, but I think, you know, since we had such a big move, we could have some consolidation in between uh, these areas here from about 15,000 to 15,300 before breaking up to the upside for more continuation. So if you're not in any trade right now, then there's nothing to do, really. Um, best bet is to wait for a pullback to 15,000 or down to 14,840. Uh, I would look for longs, either 15,000 or 15,840, and then just put my stop below the swing low on the daily. Problem right now is the last real swing low, um, you know, isn't really until that 14,100 area. You know, they really squeezed it really hard. So if, if you weren't in a long and you're waiting for the daily bullish market structure, there's no real good time to get in along. So we would have to wait for a pullback. And then next video, you'll see where I'll, I'll release a video on that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at ES now. So in ES, same idea, we got bullish once we closed about 4290. So you can see the next area of uh, resistance is coming up at about 4410. And we're close to there already. So since we're close to the resistances on NASDAQ and ES, I would expect us to chop around. Uh, you know, bigger area to chop around ES could be 4250 all the way to 4400. So if you're not in a long, again, best bet would be to wait for a pullback. Uh, good entry would be if we pulled back to this high, recent high, you know, flip it to resistance, uh, flip the, the resistance into support. So basically, if you're not in an ES long, you want to get ES long, you want to wait for a pullback down to about 4270, 4280. We can get a long there. And then the unfortunate part is we would have to put our stop below the low based on the daily. So we would get along, let's say 42.70, and then uh, stop would be down at uh, 41.20. And TP would be above the highs to the left here, and I make it a one to one trade. So, you know, not good risk reward ratio. We would like a bigger pullback, or you just go down to the four hour chart and you get a better entry. But for now, obviously very bullish, and we'll have to continue to see what's gonna happen there. I believe that we'll have a rally into the end of the year and get back up to, to 4,600, 4,700 on ES by the end of the year, and NASDAQ back above 16,000 by the end of the year. I've been saying that 
for a while and now uh, I'm gonna hold my longs until then on the Nasdaq essentially. But I will, uh, I did take a quarter of my position off and I will re-add on Nasdaq if there's a, a pullback. Not a whole lot to look at there other than let's go over the weekly chart on ES. So similar to the Nasdaq, a high, a lower low, and then a lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, and we're coming up to breaking 44.35. Once we get about 44.35 on ES, then we can say, hey, we're bullish again on the weekly chart. We're almost there. But again, if you just look at the structure, looks real, looks like on the weekly chart, you know, could easily come back to 42.80, 42.70 on ES before going higher. So I wouldn't be rushing into longs there. And then NASDAQ on the weekly chart, very similar idea, could easily come down to 14,800 pull back, you know, fill 14,800 and then continue higher. So those are the areas I'd be looking to get in long if I wasn't in a long. Uh, and then if you just look at the weekly chart, very simple to get in a NASDAQ long at 14,800, put the stops at the lows there, 14,100, and then uh, target would be above the highs at a 15,800. You know, not the greatest risk reward ratio, but if you're looking to hold for a month or multiple weeks, then this is the best trade that we could actually set up for for a long after some confirmation uh, if you had a short bias because you could still have a short bias based on the weekly chart um, you, you could get in a really good risk reward ratio short right now if you did have your short bias i personally don't but if you did you would pay, you basically short right now because you can just put your stop above the highs to the left and then your target down at the lows so very high reward to risk short right now but again, every other time frame is bullish and there's positive seasonality. It's a whole slew of things. The VIX is still very bearish. Dollar is breaking down. Everything is pointing to a bullish picture for the equities. So I personally wouldn't be looking at shorts at all right now until something got more bearish. With that being said, let's go back to daily. Let's take a look at the VIX and then DXY. So on the VIX, uh, nothing but down. So this is extremely weak and this is extremely bullish the market. If we were, if we wanted to stay bearish then we would want you know the vix to at least stop above the 200 and above the 50 and and see it bounce but there's it just sliced straight through there's you got to assume at this point that we're going back to 12 on the vix and if you assume that then the market's going a lot higher so there's not not a whole lot to say here uh, if you're bearish then you want the vix back above these moving averages but it's it's not there so just as safe to say that vix is going to be weaker and the equities will continue to rise. Uh, DXY, uh, we did get the breakdown. So DXY is bearish and uh, we've been saying that. Last video I said that we would need a daily close above the 106.7 zone to really have confidence that the dollar could go even higher to 109. And if it doesn't, then assume it's going lower and it, it you know, Thursday, Friday, big dump. So as long as the dollar is bearish, then uh, equities can keep going higher. and. What do you know right now it's bearish let's see how we are on the weekly though uh the weekly you know you can't really say that the dollar is bearish on the weekly um we could just be cooling off and then going back higher again this was a big move so the weekly i wouldn't consider it bearish but every other time frame definitely bearish on the dollar so looking very good for nasdaq and es let's just say that okay coming over to the, to the 10 year and the two year so 10 year big breakdown the past couple days bullish the market until we really break down and get to four percent or lower then that would basically look like okay it would go from a, the economy is softening to recession if we kept dumping right right now it's, it's looked at as it's bullish because it's just a pullback right if you look at the two years well a similar idea right now it just looks like this is great this is cooling off for the economy so for now all this weakness in the yields is going to be very positive for the market until it goes down so much that it flips. And that's essentially it. So NASDAQ ES, I've been saying this for the past weeks, I'm expecting us to keep going up. Uh, but for now, I would expect us to consolidate because it's a big move. So consolidation for a week probably, and then uh, continue higher from uh, mid to late November into end of December with an eventual target of NASDAQ above 16,300. And for me on ES, eventual target above uh, 4690 by the end of the year. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Subscribe for more videos just like this. I post two videos a week, one every Sunday and one every Thursday night. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.